So uh, we've talked about some of the rules and how it's an easier way of entertaining and, and what the host is responsible for. Right. Uh, we're going to do another recipe, the chickpea and cauliflower curry, which looks so good. I mean, this would be a great recipe for a potluck. Everyone can jump in there, and it's healthy. It's healthy. And, you know, because of who I am, I, I you know, I always make healthy stuff anyway, so why you would I change? Do it. And I think that's really important that you do, you know, you know, if you have a signature dish. Yeah. I was talking to uh, one of the guys in the crew, and they said that, there, or I forget who it was already, because I, my, my, my brain is like nuts I know, right now. I know. Anyway, um, and he was saying that his grandma always had exactly the same thing every for like 40 years. There's nothing it was wrong a with that. I know, and I think that's neat. Yes, because so you, you come to expect signature. it, and exactly. if it's not there, it's a problem. It's the wrong. You're at the wrong pot, like yes, exactly. Yes, right. get out. Right, get out. Bring so, back the recipe we yeah, like. Yeah, don't be fooling with my memories. No, you know, like I want to have that anyway. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all about me. Anyway, okay, so we've got all curries start with onion and garlic and, and uh, ginger, okay? So now I used to make curry with just curry powder, and I still do, but curry powder, it I think a more. lot of people, no, I think a lot of people think that curry powder is a, like an herb. Right. Like one thing, you buy a curry powder, you know. And then that's it. it. No. So curry powder is a combination of turmeric, so you're going to put turmeric in, and then there's cumin and coriander, that's coriander, mm -hmm. and then cumin. And uh, I've got cinnamon and uh, cloves. Mm -hmm. And then what's going to kick your butt right off is the red pepper flakes. So in all of it? All yeah? of it. Oh, oh okay. yeah. This is really, really hot. Okay. And then a little bit of iodized salt, okay? Nice. And then you're going to cook that up in the oil so that it absorbs. And you should get that smell right in your face. And just a tip <laughs> don't cook it like this because you could aspirate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway. Yeah, no, I happen once. Good tip. Anyway, so yeah, I think that's a good tip. Anyway, another home economist tip. And then we're gonna put in the uh, the cauliflower and so that, a nice veggie meal. A nice veggie meal. Oh, they're really jammed in there. This yeah, was I got this Sorry, at Loblaws. This was the biggest, hugest head of cauliflower I've ever seen. And then chickpeas. And I really love Loblaws blue menu. So when you're buying mm -hmm. stuff, it has no salt. And then we're going to add the the canned tomatoes, no salt as well. And then we're going to put the peas at the very at end. The end. And I'm a really big person about peas. I don't know what it is about them, but you well, love them. I actually do know what it, what it is. It's what like, is it? They're full of folate and they're full of fiber. Okay. And folate's a B vitamin that makes you happy. So oh. uh, you know, if you're crabby, eat a bowl of peas. I, eat I, more I, peas. Eat a bowl of a bowl of peas. A bowl, a bowl of, of peas. peas. Oh my goodness. Yes. A bowl right. of peas. I didn't realize well, that. People yeah. don't talk about that. Well, B vitamins are really important for your mental health. Yeah. And so you know, sometimes when you're under stress. You're not get your you just delete deplete. Yes. Oh my lord. Whatever we anyway, get it. Whatever you get. You know it. what? Okay. Well, I always yes. think of vitamin D when I think of uh, happiness. Well, that's a sunshine vitamin, so yeah. that might be because you're in the sun. But the yeah. B vitamins really contribute a lot to your mental health. Got so it. does so does anything that's an anti-inflammatory, and there's a lot of anti-inflammatory ingredients in there. So you would mm. cook this up until the uh, the cauliflower is tender, yep. and then you'd add the peas. So you okay. We'll just pretend that we'll just. Let's, cook we it. won't do it yet, because okay. then we'll make it real. We'll make it real, and now <laughs> make it. Real. Real city line, real, uh, real, <laughs> right? Right on. Now the other big <laughs> issue that I have, because you know I have food issues, you know. She has a lot of food I, issues, and I bet you're going to say um, you need to take the shrimp off the table. Food don't safety. Leave, yeah, don't leave the seafood out there just for eight hours. No, you will die. You, you will kill will somebody. Die. Now the thing is, is that. Not everybody will get sick, so it's yeah. usually someone with a compromised immune system, mm -hmm. someone who's a little kid, or somebody who's a senior. Yeah, and you don't know who that is. So yeah. when when we go to a potluck with my with my family yeah. or a buffet, I'll go, don't touch it, don't touch it. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Only because you know we get there and it's been sitting out there for three hours. So yes. the rule of thumb is keep hot foods hot and cold foods cold. Right. And so if you do have a shrimp ring, then put it in a bowl of ice. Got it. And then that will be that will be helpful for everybody. Right. Also things like hot. Okay, so I don't know whether uh, you notice, but because we're having a potluck like later, we put all the cold stuff in the refrigerator right now, so that we're going to oh. have it all for lunch. Okay. So, so you're really, like, really. here's food safety, not just on TV, but in real life. Everywhere. Like <laughs> Everywhere. I am a crazy person. Yes, yes, I know. Because you know what? I've traveled so much and I've had food poisoning, and yes, it is not so a fun. I. Isn't it horrible? It's the worst thing ever, and I've had it like two or three times. Me and too. And it's always when buying food out. Me too. It's always like fast food or something that something wasn't prepared properly someone didn't wash their hands something went wrong yeah. and it is the worst feeling ever you can't do anything no, when you've got food poisoning awful. so you know it's the way that you can you can't always you know be in control of that but yeah. you can do some rules so mm -hmm. um, uh, this can be served hot or cold okay. and we're going to serve it cold today because it kind of becomes like a, a salad yeah. so I could make this the night before and the other thing is it is so boiling hot I don't know whether you know but never drink water when you've got spicy in your mouth because what that does is just wash it all down you'd have to 
neutralize the spice and you do it with a dairy product. Got it. So yogurt. That's why they serve a lot of yogurt with uh, with Indian curries yes. and stuff because yes. it's going to take the fire out. That's right. Right. And so, so and when you're keeping it, food hot, yes. do you have then the chafing dishes? Yes. Is so, that what no, you do? No, I don't have chafing dishes. Oh, I'd like to Wouldn't because that be nice? I'm a crazy person. No, but I, I'll put out. Um, I've got a bunch of slow cookers, so people bring hot stuff. Oh, I'll put them in the slow see. cooker. Or I also have a couple of. Um, they're called Japanese butane cookers, mm -hmm. and they're like a little stove, and I do yeah. that, and I have them around too. Got it. Um, and an hour in the summer, two, an hour and a half in the in a in a cooler room. But if it's in the summer and it's outside, 45 minutes and it's toast. So don't take any leftovers mm, home. Don't be late to the potluck. Don't be late to the potluck. <laughs> Get there right away. Get there first. Yes, yeah, right, anyway. eat it all and then enough. Yeah, that's it.